right, what the heck just happened to Blackhawk? Let me set the stage here. Blackhawk Network Holdings, HAWK for all you home gamers, is a leading global distributor of prepaid cards and gift cards, serving roughly 600 different brands and running incentive and loyalty programs for over 2,000 business partners. You probably know almost every one of them. This gift card and affinity card business is absolutely on fire. And Blackhawk has been by far one of the best ways to play it. A company has consistently been taking market share from the competition with a stock that's been a terrific performer ever since it was spun off by Safeway a little less than two years ago. But BlackHawk reported yesterday morning, and while the stock initially went higher on the news that the company delivered an 11 cent earnings beat off of a dollar or five basis, it quickly reversed itself and ultimately plummeted four bucks more than 11 percent. The reason for the shellacking, even though the earnings were good, BlackHawk's guidance for 2015 was viewed as not only a bit soft, but murky and convoluted. Lots of accounting noise, like tax benefits from previous M&A deals, reclassification of parts of the revenue and expenses. I got to tell you, I tried so hard to understand it, but there was also an existing noise from currency fluctuation went over my head. Still, I've been a big fan of BlackHawk for nearly a year and a half, and last night I told you I wouldn't be surprised if the market reversed its harsh judgment on the stock. Sure enough, today BlackHawk comes bouncing back, rallying more than a dollar, just of over 3%. It's now given us a 33% gain since I recommended it last September. So which move should you believe? Yesterday's hideous decline, today's nice rally. Let's take a closer look with Bill Tauscher. He's the chairman and CEO of Blackhawk Network Holdings. Learn more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Tauscher, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi, right, Jim. Good to see you, sir. Good to see Have you. a seat. Thank you. All right, look, uh, my mom always said I'm a smart guy, and if I don't understand it, then maybe it's not understandable. And I spent two hours going over the presentation, and I didn't really understand what occurred. And I almost, I'm asking, I know this is sounds strange, but if there could be like a simple do-over for the people who bought your cards and therefore bought your stock, it would help. Sure. Well, we, there were two things that happened yesterday. The first is we released what we thought were terrific numbers from an earnings and revenue standpoint. It turns out that the revenue number was slight miss to some guidance we gave at the end of the third quarter. But we'd made this accounting adjustment where we put uh, expenses that were marketing and customer-related expenses up as a contra revenue. Doesn't change the overall numbers, lowered the revenue. If we had made it very clear in the beginning that we'd done that, we actually beat the revenue numbers as well. So but that was the first that problem. The, the acquisition did not add to revenue, you know, was not <clears throat> additive on earnings. And you did say that you felt the acquisition could do that. Yes, well, this, that, so the first part was the revenue from last year. Okay. Then we go into the guidance we gave for next year, and you're right, we've got a bunch of moving pieces. So you did some simple arithmetic, and if you take this tax benefit off mm -hmm. that we had, you get down to where the base business doesn't look like it's growing right. enough. Right. And people got disturbed by that. There were a series of non-reoccurring items in our guidance that if you restore, the truth is the base business and earnings is growing about 15% or so, and the revenue and earnings is growing about 15%. Those items, just to tick them off, we had a little bit of it last year in, in our EPS earnings. The first one is that when we spun up from Safeway, we had to go get a credit line, and that uh, established some interest expense we hadn't had before right. because of the Safeway right. relationship. The second is we nudged our tax rate, our tax rate up a little bit. And uh, while we don't think that will be needed, we wanted to be conservative early okay, on the year. Guys. And then the last, we had some FX effects because of international. Currency. Absolutely. So the main business seems to be growing just fine if you adjust for that, if you look forward. And then secondarily, there's no question the acquisitions are created. They are creative. They are okay, creative because it this was year. For 2015. I mean, because right. look, I mean, it's very unusual. You had a big analyst day, and then you put out a, you put out a news release today, additional details on revenue reclassification. That said that you understood that we didn't really get it. The questions at the end were, were like questions I would have, which is like, are you doing as good as I think you are? And we're actually going to put out something a little bit later here that does some of the walk on the EPS Thank numbers. you. Do need that. Okay, so let's go over um, some of these issues because what people were confused by. First, some people worried that perhaps the business is going to be challenged by digital, which you'll make less money on than the standalone stands we see at the drugstores. Well, there's no question we're worried about that. We've invested a ton of money to try to be the same kind of leader in the digital space. So we've taken all of our gift cards and gone to our partners and said, we need digital gift cards. Right. We're now up to 370 of our some 600 cards we can offer digitally. Then we built a whole platform so we could offer this up to people who want to distribute gift cards digitally. Then we made a list of everybody we could think of, starting with Amazon. Mm -hmm. who said, do you want to sell gift cards online or in some mobile function? And we've quietly been signing them all up. Now, having said all of that, there's not a lot of business. And the, it's growing, but it's very small. And the reason is you can't make a digital payment in this country yet ubiquitously. Right. 
You just can't. No, all like the hullabaloo about Apple Pay. No, if I to go buy a share of stock through a digital payment, it's really hard to That's do. That's right. And all this stuff about Apple Pay and that it's going to change the way we do it, it will happen in a couple, three years. But today, you go into store after store, you can't use your phone to pay. Okay, but does that mean that we have a short, uh, or just a short half-life to be still own Blackhawk stock before things get uh, diff more difficult? Well, the method that's going to change digital payment is when they change out all the card readers for EMV. Right. And when that's, they do I that, you'll get, an, you'll get an, that's going to happen. You'll get an NFC chip. And that's the chip, the antenna, that lets the phone read the payment. Okay. That'll happen over the next two or three years. If you look at countries that already have all this, mm -hmm. UK does an example. It's still only about 10 or 15% payments. Okay. So there's still a drag period, certainly, has, uh, certainly past a pretty long horizon, till the whole, uh, whole population sort of says, that's where I'm going to go. And frankly, without some other goodies, it's not really solving a problem. Right. Okay. All right. So, look, I'm giving the bottom line that there wasn't anything that was newly revelatory and negative, right, Bill? I think that's true. Okay. We think we're going to have a good year. That's what matters. Okay. It's Bill, it's Bill Tauscher. He's the chairman and CEO of Blackhawk ne uh, Network Holdings. More stuff coming out maybe to help us understand a little bit more. It is necessary. We do need it. They have money's back in. Right. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.